Hello, Christopher Brent here, coming to you today with a piano repertoire guide video on Debussy's Prelude Number no. 2 from Book 1, which is entitled Voile, which translates in English as sails. It can also mean veils, so it has a double meaning. There's a little bit of ambiguity in the title, which is rather unique. Um, this is part of the Impressionistic period. You could also call it 20th century if you'd like. This is from 1909 when he wrote this piece, so it really does fall into the early 20th century, specifically the Impressionistic period, even though W.C. did not really like that term. Um, of course, we continue to use it today, uh, but it does really imply certain harmonic elements, certain compositional techniques uh, regarding ambiguity, really, to some degree. When we see artwork of Monet, we look at the painting, and if you look at it real close, it's not very clear what he's painting, but if you back away from a Monet painting, you can see, oh, it's nature. It's maybe the feeling that you get upon being there by a lakeside or by the uh, water or uh, seeing sailboats. The WC did have a fascination with the sea, and we do uh, see this uh, fascination with the sea in this particular piece. So, what are some unique features in this? Well, the whole tone scale. So, right out of the gate, you know, we hear thirds, descending thirds in a whole tone scale. Also, we see the pentatonic scale uh, in this piece uh, throughout. So, lots of oscillation between the whole tone scale and the pentatonic scale, and some thirds, of course, double thirds that you have to be able to play. Uh, legato, so you got to have some technique to handle this. So, difficulty wise, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this piece an 8. Um, it's not the hardest, I would say, or the most difficult of Debussy's works, but it's not one that is for the faint of heart. If you're new to Debussy and you've never played any Debussy, I would not start with this piece. There's a few others out there that might be easier to start with, but it's also not the most difficult of all of Debussy's works either. So, uh, yeah, plenty of difficulty there to work through these concepts here. Balance is another thing with this piece. Uh, there's plenty of dynamic balance, layering. There's a beautiful pedal point between B flat um, and C that you see throughout this piece. So you have to really have the touch to handle all of these elements. So, uh, but that's what really makes it cool. Uh, you know, it's a, if, if you can work on your technique and get it to a point where you're ready for a piece like this, well, that's the reward, right? So, form. Let's talk about form. It's really not clear exactly, I would say, what the form is, but you could say it's some variation on a ternary form, an ABA form. Uh, it's not, I would say, exactly clear, so you could... I've seen some scholars look at it as a five-part song form, uh, you know, so you can label it a few different ways, but I would say just a variation on ternary form. Reference recording. I would say Arturo Benedetto Michelangeli. I'd write that on the board up here, but I'd take up like the whole board. So, <laughs> so I just wrote Michelangeli here. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll leave some other recordings in there as well, both audio and video that you can check out on YouTube. So uh, enjoy this piece. Really, it's, it's magnificent. I'm going to do some more videos, of course, on the WC Preludes and many other works. So uh, thank you again for listening. If you like what you see and hear, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. So thank you again for listening, and we will see you in the next video.